everyone welcome to the intro to photoshop timeline tutorial in this video i'll be showing you the photoshop timeline tool by making a bouncing ball animation so here i am for setting up my canvas i use the eclipse tool to make myself a circle that will be my ball and then i am going to use the ruler tool in order to pull down a guideline where the floor is going to be Once I like that, I'm going to duplicate that layer to make my second frame. And I'm just going to make it a little bit squash and stretchy. If you want to learn a little bit more about the animation principles, you can check out our Blender tutorials or you can always look that up online as well. My middle one is going to be the most distant from the other frames and it's going to be more stretchy. And then I'm going to make it a little bit squashier at the bottom to give it a sense of elasticity. Before I do the timeline tool, I'm going to do the other half of these, this animation by just copying and pasting the layers and then rearranging them. So these layers are going to animate in order. So you think about how you can mirror that motion. Then you can go to the timeline tool by going to Windows Timeline, selecting all of your layers and then going to the little three dashes on the side and then going to frames from layers. You can also adjust the duration or delay of the frames. I see that it's been a little bit choppy on mine so I'm going to go back to no delay. You can keep playing around with that and then pressing play to preview your animations. Then we can export by going to export and save for web and then we can save this as a GIF. You can preview it again here, and then you can save it. And this is what it looks like. We can't wait to see your animations. 